Hey there, Wan. This is Aurora. And Nick. Coming to you from the TV studio upstairs where we have some big news for you. Let's check out what Isaiah is doing. Thank you. Recently here at WAMS, we had a week dedicated to anti-bullying. Many got in the spirit by getting their pinkies painted blue and wearing the colors yellow, pink, and blue all in support of anti-bullying. Almost 3.2 million students are victims of bullying each year. About 160,000 kids miss school because of being bullied. And out of all of those millions of students, only one out of three are brave enough to come out and report it. That is not okay. Bullying is like a virus that plagues the world. As it spreads, we may think we have no clue what to do, but to just watch it happen. What we can do is to stand together as a school and find new ways to put a stop to bullying. Stand up, speak out, and stop bullying today, Whams. Back to you at the anchor desk. Thanks, Isaiah. Let's go look at Emily and Levi with the musical. <laughs> I, I'm getting the chance to interview Levi. So, Levi, what role are you playing in the musical this year? I am playing the role of Emmett Forrest in the musical. What's the personality of Emmett? Um, Emmett is a very kind um, man. He, um, he also likes to be helpful, and he's um, one person who helps Elle um, you know, study and helps her pass through her year at college. So, did you have any difficulty learning how to play Emmett? Um, not really, just because I can kind of relate to the character of Emmett. And I've also um, seen the Broadway musical um, a couple times, and I've really just picked up on his character. What's the hardest part for rehearsing for the musical? Um, the hardest part of rehearsing is probably remembering choreography for all the dance numbers. I mean, sometimes I just get a, a little mixed up, but um, memorizing lines can also be a little difficult. But I mean, sometimes, like, when you're reviewing lines so many times, it just kind of starts to become familiar, and like, it's like muscle memory, so. And finally, why did you want to audition? Um, I wanted to audition because I did the musical last year, and I had a great time. And I'm also, I was familiar with the show, and I just really wanted to do it. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Levi. Back to you, Nick. Hey there, Whams. Naomi's not feeling well, so I'll be bringing you in the weather this week. As Naomi told you last week, spring is finally starting to peek out at us. How about those 50s earlier this week? It looks more of the same for next week, with warm afternoons, relatively speaking, and cold mornings. Accept highs to be in the upper 40s this weekend and rain starting on Friday into Saturday. Monday peaks out our temperatures for the week with another bump into the 50s, thanks to the mostly sunny day. The rest of the week is just a bit cooler with temperatures in the low 40s and those still cold below freezing mornings. Don't put your gloves away just yet. We'll be back next week to give you our first official w spring forecast. Now for an important announcement. As many of you know, pi is a number that we use quite often in math. In fact, it is always equal to the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. Also, it's what we call an irrational number. That is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. Why are you telling me all this stuff today? You might ask. Well, if you know pi, then you know it starts out as 3.14. But did you know the next two numbers are 1-5, as in 2015? Tomorrow is a date that comes around once every year, 3-1-4. Math people call it Pi Day. This year it is Ultimate Pi Day, 3-1-4-1-5. And it only happens once every 100 years. I'm going to guess none of us will be around to see the next one. So at 9.26 a.m. and 53 seconds, on Saturday, March 14th, 2015, make sure you have some pie and think about your math teacher. Now back to your normal programming. Hey there, Whams. It's, it's birthday, birthday time. time! On the 13th, we have Colby Fulmer. On the 14th, 
Dayana Hopkins, <laughs> Leroy Mori, Carly Weaver. And on the 15th, Alexander, Alexandra Daniels, Talia Evans, both had a birthday. On the 16th, Mackenzie Rouse had her birthday. On the 17th, Kyrie Dobbs, Olivia Flexer has their, have their birthday. On the, on the 18th, Angel Williamson Irvin, Russell Butts, and Solomon Grant all had birthdays. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wham. Remember to be present, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe.